I am Casey Hope from Pizzazz Art Studio. I loved seeing what everybody created. This is, um, we've been doing this all week and I am seeing some cool things that you are creating. I've got watercolor paper. Now I know, some of you I've heard, you're like, I don't live near a store and I'm stuck in my house, so what if I don't have watercolor paper? If you don't have watercolor paper, you can still do these lessons and just don't use watercolor. You can just draw on regular paper and you can use colored pencils or markers or crayons or whatever you want um, to fill it in, okay? But we are using watercolor paper. Now, I've also heard somebody say, I wonder if I have the right kind of watercolor paper. I will tell you the thickness matters. Look right here, you see it has the 140. It needs to kind of be that or above. Now, there are other kind that are in like kids' tablets that'll be just fine. You'll just notice that the paper is kind of turning up a little bit more. Um, we have a kind of pizzazz that's even higher than this if you are really wanting to, um, to get some thick paper. But this is just a pack of 30. You can get this at Walmart. Um, you can get it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. So here we go. We've got the watercolor paper. We've got our watercolor pencil and eraser, um, a permanent pen. It does not have to be a Sharpie, but something permanent. And these are generally the, the basic supplies that we'll be using for all of our lessons. We may throw in another little something, something sometimes. Uh, if you've got washable watercolors, those are good too, um, like washable watercolor markers, because you can turn those in to into watercolor like you may have seen on the bunny. So, um, but basically we don't want you during these times to have to feel like you've got to go buy a bazillion supplies. Just get the basics and um, and we can do a lot just with a pad of watercolor paper. So here we go. All right, we are moving this over. We're gonna grab our pad out and we are gonna start just with pencil, okay? Um, let's see, somebody said, what kind of watercolors do you use? Currently, I'm using these neons. We do sell these. We've got a few more of these in stock that we can put a link into. Um, they are the Uli brand. They're like this. Uh, you can also, Michael's has, this is an old pa palette, but um, I mean, not old, but I've used it a lot. That's an inexpensive one. The brights are just really bright. Like these are just some neons. Once you use these, they're just super duper fun. So I'm gonna be using these, but anything that you've got will work. So I'm going to start with shape. Anytime we are drawing, we wanna start with shape um, because our brain tends to freak out if we look at the whole thing, if we just say, oh, it's a cross and I can't draw a cross, okay? Or yesterday, if we sometimes we're like, oh, I don't know how to draw a bunny. But when we broke it down into a circle, you know, and I like a teardrop, when you break it down one shape at a time, you can do it. So no worries. We are gonna break this down one shape at a time. So if we were to look at this, what shape does this kind of look like? kind of looks like a, um, a triangle, okay? A very exaggerated triangle, almost like a candy corn. Now, yes, it's behind that, um, but we're still gonna draw it like this, and then we will erase later. So we're gonna do this big kind of candy corn shape. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate it. All right, <clears throat> so we're not gonna be in the middle of the page. We're gonna go a little higher than the middle, and we're gonna do this tall kind of, triangle-y thing. Now, it's not going to be a triangle with sharp points, okay? We want these edges a little bit rounded, okay? So if you accidentally did sharp points, kind of round them out. It kind of is more of a candy corn. So there we go for that triangle. Now here, we're gonna do another triangle. It's gonna be kind of turned the other way. It's gonna just touch this, and don't worry about what it looks like right here, because remember, we're gonna cover that up with a heart later. So, we're gonna go here. Hey, Ava. Um, all right, so we're gonna come up, over, and down. So, it's kind of another little triangle-y shape, but it not, does not have pointed edges, okay? I'm gonna kind of, <clears throat> kind of straighten that up. It's a little crooked here. All right, we are drawing very lightly so that when we do a race like that, it's not a big deal. Now, if you were to press down hard, you'd be able to see all those Okay, but we're not gonna press down hard. If we need to erase, it's totally fine. Now, we're gonna do another triangle over here. Do y'all see the pattern here? <laughs> now, again, they are not triangles that are really like sharp points. They're just kind of curved. Tara said, feeling like we're back in Honduras. Yes, <laughs> just like this all over the world. All right, so here we go. We're gonna, oh, why is my, I hope y'all are still there because suddenly it's a connection unavailable. That is not good. 
Um, I hope everybody's still there. I'm gonna keep on rolling and just hope you are. All right, so now I'm gonna start here and come up, down, and up. It's another triangle. And then same one here, go up, down. You may, Tara just said she's feeling like she's back in Honduras. Some of you may have seen my post, may not have. When we went to India, <laughs> we, uh, we did a lesson similar to this. It was not exactly this, but it was pretty scary because we had a thousand kids that we were supposed to teach. And I had these grandiose plans to do all kinds of different uh, lessons. And all we had was regular copy paper and these little bitty markers and crayons. And that was art camp for a thousand kids. <laughs> but you know what? We made it work. Just by doing things like this, you don't have to have super fancy supplies. So here we go. We've got all of that design there. And then I am going to draw my heart. Now, right in here, all this kind of is looking messy. No big deal. We're going to cover it up with a heart and we're going to kind of make that heart big and exaggerated. So right here, we're going here and then here. All right. However you want to do it. Then we're going to take that eraser and erase all this junk inside. Remember, we were pressing down lightly so that when we erase this, it's not a big deal. But you know what? Let's say you press down too hard and it's looking bad when you erase it. Okay, guess what? Get another sheet of paper. Ain't no big thing, okay? <laughs> that is one thing we want to stress is that it is not a big deal. Art is supposed to add peace and play into your every day, okay? Not be stressful. So if you don't like what you have, just push it away. All right, so now we are gonna go around it with like another border. So right here, you've just got another little border all around. And you could just leave this and you can just paint it another color. You see in my sample, we did little lines. You, I, had, I considered doing all of these like black and white. The only, and I really do like that option. I just thought it might be a little tedious for little hands. I might go crazy, but maybe not. All right, <clears throat> so there we go. And then we are just going to draw our polka dots in there. And those polka dots are just going to be like half dots, okay? I'm not trying to fit a lot of little complete circles. I'm going to do just little curves. So we've got like a curve, 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 curve. And notice how many do I have in each thing? One, two, three, okay? That's like max in the smaller ones. One, two, three, one, two, three. Down here, we've got four. So it's not a ton, a ton, a ton of little bitty dots because if you, if you get a ton, a ton, a ton of little dots, It'll be fine. It's just sometimes a little bit harder to paint. All right, so basically we have got everything that we need for now. So we're gonna put the pencil away. If you need to make any, now is the time to do it. Like for example, I'm looking and I'm thinking, this dips down a lot lower than that. So maybe I'll just kind of shave a little bit off right there and erase it. So if you need to make any corrections, now is the time to do it before we head to, um, head to the Sharpie, because once that Sharpie's on there, you're just gonna have to go with it, okay? Okay, now you will notice things are not exactly perfect. I did not get out a ruler and measure everything and it's gonna be a-okay. Because if I, for me and my personality, that would have caused me stress. If I was having to measure everything, this would not be playful and fun, okay? <laughs> but you might have a different personality. It might drive you crazy if things are not exactly perfect. So if you wanna measure it, then go for it. I just feel like it's funner just to create and just do it. So here we go. Now I'm going to take my, um, my marker and I'm going to quickly start outlining. Now remember, you may have seen us do this before. We do multiple outlines a lot of times just to give it kind of a, a wispy look and to also make us not feel like we have to be perfect. Because if it's just one line and you're just relying on that one line that you're outlining, sometimes you feel like, oh, it's gonna be perfect. And then when it's not, it's real noticeable. But if you just throw in a lot of little lines like this, it's just like anything goes, okay? <laughs> anything goes. All right, so we are going to do this multiple outline around all of our pencil lines, okay? And is, is it gonna be exactly on the pencil line? No, and that's okay. So it's kind of a sketchy, multiple outline kind of a deal. Remember, this is a permanent pen. I am using a Sharpie. It does not have to be a Sharpie, but it does need to be something permanent because once we add the 
watercolor to it, if it's not permanent, it's going to start bleeding everywhere. This looked a little bit shorter, so I'm going to kind of just kind of do it a little bit bigger than my actual pencil lines, just to try to make up for the shortness. All right, so we've got a lot of that on there. Now I'm going to go for all of these um, kind of curves. So we'll say curve, curve, curve. Isn't this free and fun when you're not trying to be perfect? Like, ain't nobody grading y'all, okay? <laughs> Nobody's in school. This is for your own pleasure and enjoyment. And we say it all the time, especially, um, you know, we have a lettering club. that We do an online lettering club that we teach ladies how to do art and lettering. We send them happy mail. And one of our sayings in that is we're adding peace and play into your every day. And that is exactly what this is, okay? It's just a little bit of play to get the stuff out. I hope that it's a little bit of peace for me. Um, I just find that it always is. Um, it just does something to your soul just to create and then to be proud of it. So now I'm just coming around and adding these little lines. Now, like I said before, earlier I had thought that I was going to color every other one of these in black because I just love the combination of black and white and pops of color. But the only reason that I chose not to, because I know there's a lot of little bitty hands that are going to be doing this, and coloring every single one of those black might be a little much. But hey, if you are like a little bit older and you want the black and white, go for it. Just start drawing lines, coloring in every other one, and it'll be really cute. Super, super cute. Okay, so I told y'all we are going to have a giveaway, and if you hopped on a little bit late, let me tell you how you enter it. I'm going to announce it at tomorrow's live, um, but we are going to give away a few packs of our neon watercolors, okay? And the way to enter is just to post your pics. We want to see your pictures. That During this time especially, we always like seeing your pictures, but there, during this time where we have limited social interaction, we really want to see your pictures, okay? <laughs> we want to see what you're doing. So show us your pics. Okay, now this little stuff inside here um, is just, you know, you can do however you want to. You don't have to do it like this. I just think it adds a little bit of fun. So sometimes you could think of it like S's, like you're making an S. So like this. And then sometimes it could be like backwards S's. And I'll notice that doesn't look like a complete S. It's because I'm kind of picking my pen up a little bit. I'm not, I'm like letting it skip on purpose. Does that make sense? Like I'm not pressing down the whole time. So again, let me do this in slow mode. Like if this is an S, but I kind of skipped areas. Does that make sense? Do you see that? All right, so you could do like just all these little curves and S's and C's and backwards S's. And I'm just kind of not letting my pen touch solidly. That's just one little technique that I do. You could totally just put your pen down and scribble in there and it'd be okay too, okay? So nothing, there's not like you're right or wrong. This is just kind of how I'm doing it. All right, so there we've got this. If you want to, um, if you want to erase any of your, any of your pencil lines, you can. Let's see. Let's see, somebody said, um, would you have an idea of something else I could make with these great ideas besides a cross? I mean, you can make anything that you want to. <laughs> you can do it however you want to do it. Um, we will have lessons every single day that you can um, you can come and look at. We've got we've done an owl so far, a turtle. We did the bunny. You can do all kinds of different things. All right, so I am going to brush this away. All right, so. Now I'm going to paint. I'm going to move this to the side so just so that we can kind of have some room to paint. Again, I'm using the neons. You can use whatever you want. You can color them in with colored pencils. You can color them in with markers. You can do whatever. But the neons are what is we're going to do the giveaway. I'm going to start with my lightest color. Now that's wise to do no matter what kind of watercolors you're using. A lot of times if you'll start with that lightest color, um, it will just be kind of easier, easier to clean your brush. And it's just, if it was, sometimes when you start with like the darker color, it bleeds into the other stuff. So I like to start with the lightest color, with this background color. And I am just throwing the paint on, okay? Now, I did, if this is anybody's first time using watercolor, you do have to touch the water and then touch this, okay? So water and then this. And then we'll just throw the color on. We are not trying to be um, super... 
uh, perfect with this. We're not trying to like, it doesn't have to be exactly in the lines. We're just putting the color in. And again, if you don't have watercolor paper, I would not suggest doing the watercolors on it because it will just wrinkle it. You'd be better off just getting some um, markers or crayons or colored pencils. All right, so we got that. And then I'll go from my pink. I've got to add some water to it. Remember, we are going to be here every day this week and next week at 3.30. We might go the third week of this quarantine. We'll see. But for sure, <laughs> for sure this week and next week. Because this is the time that we're usually teaching. I mean, if, like right now, under normal circumstances, Haley would be at the studio teaching. And I would be at one of the schools teaching. And we'd be teaching all kinds of kiddo stuff. And so since we um, are not doing that... We just thought, hey, why not bring it online and let everybody do a little bit of art from home? So this is really fun to see um, people from all around the place. Uh, I would love to hear where some of y'all are from. I know that I see a lot of people that I know, and I see a lot of people that I don't know. So let us know where you are tuning in from. We would love to see that. I'm going to add this purple. Um, April said, could you use the Uli Smooth Sticks watercolor gel crayons? Oh, yeah, you could. Yes, yes, yes. Um, those are really fun. Just kind of play with them before you start doing this so you get an idea of, you might have already done this, but so that you get an idea of, um, like how much of the crayon you need to put on because they're really concentrated. You don't need to do a whole lot and then you add the uh, water and then they're cool beans. But do that on watercolor paper. All right, so now I'm gonna come in with the blue. And this part, y'all, you don't have to follow my color scheme. You can do whatever colors you want. You just draw it and then you have fun kind of painting it in. Right there, that purple kind of bled into the blue a little bit. Oops. Um, but it's not a huge deal. And then after I get this part in, I will show you what we're gonna do from the uh, on the background. All right, I see some names coming through of Tennessee and Oklahoma and so our hometown Prattville folk. And let's see, where else? In Wisconsin and Utah. Isn't this the fun part about, um, about uh, online? And we got Fort Worth. So, so many fun stuff. Let's see, you said you saw me in last October. Susan, why can I not even remember where I was last October? Uh, <laughs> just remind me. Uh, let's see. I hope y'all are still there. A call just came through. I thought I put it on do not disturb, but I guess not. All right. All right, so we are filling this in, and then on the background, you can do whatever you want to. Um, I don't, I didn't want to do it a solid color. Um, I could have, but I kind of want to just, I don't know. There was, since this was a lot of solid, I wanted to do some of the white still showing through. Um, Susan, oh, Heidi's event. Yes, yes, that was so much fun. So, so much fun. <clears throat> Duh, I should have remembered that. I was only, I was not in Fort Worth that many times. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let's go. We're going to go with the pink and I'm going to do a lot of the swirls. Now, again, if this is too hard, don't worry about doing it, but it's just fun little swirls and then half swirls. Like don't feel like you have to fit a complete swirl in. Sometimes all you have room is for like a curve like that, okay? So you are just swirling it all around. All right. <clears throat> Loretta says, I love that you're doing this. My friend told me about your page. I think tomorrow I will add this to the art part of the week. For sure. My kiddos and nieces and nephews day. Yes, for sure. Uh, just put it on the calendar. Grab your supplies. We are trying to stick to very simple supplies. Even though in our studio we use all kinds of supplies. And we do pastel lessons and watercolor and painting and clay and all kinds of stuff. But we know that this week... You're not going to have access to all that stuff. <laughs> so we are trying to do things that you can do easily from home. All right, so we've got all of the pink, and now I'm going to add the orange. And also, if any of you ladies or kids, um, but particularly ladies, uh, are interested in lettering, we do have another group um, called, it's just, it's, another Facebook group. It is attached to this page and it's the lettering lessons. Um, 
an inspirations page and we will be doing a lot of stuff over there during this time too just painting and lettering and all kinds of things so you can be sure to join that all right all right y'all so there we go that is it it did not take too terribly long it doesn't take a lot of time to carve out a little bit of peace and play into your every day so y'all get busy creating be sure to post your pictures you can post them either here or on our page or any of the you know however you can get them we want to see them we don't always see them like if you just tag us i don't know sometimes i see them and sometimes i don't um like if we're not personal friends so i'd love for you to somehow post them on the page if you can so y'all get to creating and we will see you tomorrow see ya see ya